This is UFO sightings footage. Now I've just come across this one here. I've not seen this one before. The Large Hadron Collider created a pole to another dimension. This will just be a quick little video of this. Um, Large Hadron Collider created a pole to another dimension. Whoa, look at that. What the? What the hell is that? Is a portal. That is a dimension, a stargate. Now, Harry Patton's image and the Large Hadron Collider, that's that there. We had to say that. As UIP stated recently, the bizarre UFO sighting in the sky above the Netherlands looks very much like a portal than anything else. Could it be that the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, has opened up a portal in the sky to another dimension? Well, it sure looks like it. Look at that. Now, if you were to superimpose a jet there, or a jet has just flew off, that could look like the back spare of a jet. But I don't know. Could it be that this image of the most bizarre looking object snapped up in the high, smacks, snapped up high above the Netherlands, could be the first ever picture of a portal to another dimension, possibly opened by the guys based in CERN? Please see our previous story on this. Important. The gentleman who caught this incredible sighting was Dutch snapper Harry Perm, who was photographing stormy evening skies at the tomb of uh, Groningen in his homeland, when all of a sudden there was a huge flash and he fired the shutter. Some people believe that this is very well could be a wormhole to another dimension. Now, it's not far from CERN, considering CERNs are all over. Particle accelerators are all over, not just CERN. I'm sure that a lot of you reading this will already know this, but wormholes are a very mysterious scientific theory that there are openings in space-time to another part of the universe or even another dimension. It is very important to remember when discussing portal wormholes that they are actually very real and even. Our silent friends in NASA not so long ago confirmed their existence, which they do. They did confirm it. Now... This is about magnetic poles, you know. The reason why I wanted to show this is because, for me, this could be. He picked up his camera, went to go snap a jet overhead, and he only got this. And he thought, well, booby prize. It's a pole. Because that, to me, looks like it's just fired its afterburner, and it's literally gone. It probably could have even been in the picture and it's been edited out or it was just on the fringes of it so he, he cropped it but that to me looks like an afterburner I am sorry but it does a Euro fighter afterburner now I was gonna do this with the intention of actually saying it was a portal but after looking at it, no. I don't know. I really don't know. What do you think? Is this a... Uh... Hmm. At the time he took the picture, Mr. Pett actually did not realise anything out of the ordinary had just happened. And instead, believing it must have been a flash of lightning instead, which could have been the afterburner, just hitting and... Gone. Little did he know that he may have taken one of the most important photos of all time. Well, it could be. It was only until a short while after, a short while later after taking a photograph, when he reviewed the shots at home, he could actually see the strange semi-translucent object, shaped like an upside-down jellyfish or a toadstool. A pole. Whoa. Now, that does actually look like that, if I'm being honest. NASA image or what a portal could look like. Well, I think I'm going to use this. No, I'm going to use this as the thumbnail for this video because I want you to tell me is that an afterburner? And considering how fast jets fly, that it could be just leaving that in its wake, you know? You can clearly see that most of the object is turquoise like colour, while there is a sunlight esque jet. <laughs> see? Jet. 
I think that's them, the people who've done this, telling us that this is a jet. Or jet or beam of light at the base, or an entrance to a portal or another dimension. Not surprisingly, after this incredible photo was spotted online, it led to a complete frenzy of speculation, which I'm speculating that that's a jet. The wake of a jet. Uh, speculation, wormholes, Project Blue Beam, alien, alien visitations, or even some kind of a religious warning to the people of this world. See, they always have to slam religion in when they can't explain it. But the most popular theory was, could this be a portal to another dimension? Hmm. Well, it could be. It could be. And someone, so what one one commentator said about this whole strange event there, that's a portal. It allows a craft to travel from, see, a craft, travel a craft from one end of the um, country or universe to the other in a matter of seconds. Someone made a mistake when entering our system and basically got caught. What you're seeing is a craft entering, not leaving. Well, if we've seen a craft entering, where's the craft? So that's debunked straight away. There's no craft. Um, many of us immediately speculated that this could be the result of a large hydrogen cloud or LHC being turned back on at twice its original power. And what with the com confirmation of the guys at CERN, that they are starting to look for other universes and dimensions. Somebody else immediately posted it's a wormhole. As we all know, the LHC is a massive... Anyways, you know what? He's put, I was taking photos, blah, blah, blah. Is it a UFO? No. I want you to tell me what is that? Is that a portal? Is that a dimension? Is that a wormhole? Is it a stargate? You know, is it somebody just blowing a a ring of smoke? <laughs> Cigarette in his mouth. Quick, take this photo. You know, I don't know. But Dutch Snapper seems to think that this is a portal wormhole. It seems to me that whatever it is, is shooting down here and leaving that in its trail. Because as we know, opposite and equals, something has caused that to burst out that way. Now, if it is a wormhole, amazing. But I think somewhere around here, there was probably a jet. And it's been, you know, Photoshop, it's amazing what you can do with Photoshop. You can put a gazelle in the White House office if you want with Trump on the phone. Have you seen the photo? Go look for it. It's weird. So, it's astonishing, yes, but, I don't know, as always, you tell me what you think and I will leave it up to you, this is UFO sightings footage bringing you some weird stuff again, peace.